John and I have been on the road now for a month and a few days ago I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos asking what we do about our bedding situation. The woman had recently gotten an RV like ours and she was um, baffled on what to do about the bedding situation. Now I have seen other videos and I watched a lot of videos because I also had a problem with the bedding situation. This is not like an RV where you can get one of those uh, those products called Beddies, B-E-D-D-Y-S, uh, because there's really nothing to tuck it under. Uh, so I had gone to uh, one of the forums online and a woman from back east had suggested something else. And so uh, this is kind of my variation on, on what she had recommended. So the woman online had recommended that I go to the company store and buy the sheepskin mattress topper that they have. This happens to be the, um, I think it's a king size, but not sure, it could be queen size. And then she put it between a jersey uh, duvet cover. Now the duvet cover you have to get to fit this size bed in the Pleasure Way Ascent. You have to get a king size, but the king size is too long and so you have to reduce it. Hopefully you can sew or you can take it to a friend who can sew. So this is what the, this is what the uh, sheepskin looks like. It's really thick, very thick, but it's uh, very comfortable as well. And then this is the Jersey sheepskin, uh, the Jersey duvet cover that I uh, purchased also from the company store, but then I reduced the size um, somewhat. So now I'm going to show you uh, what, how, how we make up the bed. So the first thing we have to do is to uh, put the bed down. So I go to the screen and I extend the sofa. So that brings it down. This. And then you have to get the two boards. And the go boards go between the two, I don't know what you call these two side pieces. And then you take the two backrests and fit those in. Okay, now we're ready to put down the bottom part of our bed. So, so one other thing that I did was to keep the, to keep the bottom part from crawling down while you're sleeping, I sewed two kind of quick snaps um, in the middle of the of the bottom part and let me show you outside I'll take you outside and show you how I attach them okay so what I did was I used the seat belts as anchor points for these things and I on the other end I have the opposite side of the clip and I clip that down there and I clip this here. And so that keeps the, this part of the bed where our head, head is, uh, keeps it from slipping down during the night. And then I just crawl up here and start tucking it into the side so it's a little bit wider than it needs to be so that we can tuck it in on both sides. I'm gonna crawl inside. And then I just uh, straighten this out and finish tucking it in all the way around until it's relatively flat um, but it's really quite comfortable and it seems to stay tucked in I think because of that thick sheepskin topper now for the cover part um, all of our bedding has to fit in this cupboard above the bed so and we both like two pillows so it gets quite quite uh, packed in there um, this is our top part and it's a duvet cover that I I keep cinched down with these straps that I got um, someplace like Target or someplace like that and then just gets rolled out 
and that's it. This is a queen size, and that's the that part. Um, and we it keeps us very warm. Um, and since John is quite tall, he's six foot five. Uh, we can't use like a sleeping bag for two or something like that because it just wouldn't be long enough. Okay, and then every morning I end up rolling this thing up the way I was taught by my dad and, and his Boy Scout troop. <laughs> I'm gonna roll up a sleeping bag. Keep it tight, tightly with these straps. You just hold on with Velcro. They're the same straps that I use for our Reflectix in the front to cover up the windows when they're needed. And so that's that. It goes back up top along with the pillows. The pillows go up top as well. But um, because this bottom is so heavy, uh, and on this long trip, we really wanted extra storage. All I do for during the day is I fold this up into like fourths. And we actually find it more comfortable to leave it like this. And I will put these back here. Remove those, remove the boards, but leave the bed down in this position because if we stop and want to relax or something, it's just, it's more comfortable just to leave the, the couch this way and lean our heads against these uh, bolsters. So that's how we travel and that's how we um, make up our bed. It's a little fiddly, maybe too fiddly for you, but uh, it's worked really well for us. Thanks for watching, hope this helps.